In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing a few quick tips that I think will help you improve your user control, both on offense and defense in this year's game um, in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. If you are brand new to my YouTube channel, one of the things that I wanna let you know is I make videos that are designed to help people get better at Madden. We do that both tactical videos and conceptual videos. So I give you schemes to run, and I also give you things to think about. That's kind of my goal. Uh, this video is gonna be something to think about. It's gonna also give you some tactical tips as well. But in general, what I wanna talk about for the next couple of minutes, I wanna talk about user control, both on offense and on defense. And so if you're interested in getting better at this game and you enjoy this video, what I wanna encourage you to do is to join my community Discord. Discord is a great place. It's a place where my community comes together and we talk about Madden. Um, it's not just my perspective, but it's it's my and over 300 people's uh, perspectives of this game. And so you get a lot of different ideas, a lot of diversity, but you also get a lot of results, in my opinion. And so um, it's just a great place to, to learn more about Madden. I've learned so much from my Discord members. They've just helped me in a lot of ways uh, improve. So if you wanna join that, you can click that link in the description. So user defense. User defense is different this year. Uh, user control in general is different this year. One of the things that has really uh, helped me get better uh, is understanding that slight, slight movements really do matter. Um, turbo, uh, it used to be, um, especially with the way blitzes have, used, you have just evolved over years in Madden. Um, one of the ways that you could get pressure is by holding right trigger in gap. So you would get into a gap and you would hold right trigger and maybe you could run through as a turbo, like I would do right, right here and then I would just hold turbo and I would go through. It doesn't work like that anymore. In fact, the turbo button in general, in my opinion, in Madden, is not the most important button to understand. Most people, when they play Madden, they, they wanna hit turbo on everything. What I like to do is only hit turbo when I'm, when I'm truly wanting to accelerate in a straight line toward something. So for example, if I'm running through, as soon as I can see the opening and I don't have to deal with blockers anymore, that's when I'm gonna run through. But until then, I'm not going to. When turbo, when you see turbo button, when you see that button as I'm gonna explode through, as opposed to I'm gonna, um, as opposed to I'm just gonna run as fast as possible, it really does change how you play defense, in my opinion. Because what happens is you start to understand a little bit more about the way the blocking schemes work. The way the computer's programmed, part of this goes back to that blitzing mechanic that I was talking about. Um, the way the game is programmed is that if you are if you are hitting the turbo button, in general, the linemen on offense are going to target you, and on defense, like if you're if you're on if you're on defense, the linemen on offense are going to target you, and if you're on defense, um, or if you're on offense and they're on defense, if you hold turbo when you're running the ball, the same thing applies. The same thing applies. So what I have learned the hard way, and this has taken, and I'm still not great at this, but what have I had, what I've had to learn uh, over the course of the last probably six months, because I was seeing this a little bit more in Madden 20 as well, um, is when you're when you are truly trying to improve your user control, the best thing you can do is stop hitting turbo all the time. Um, just try to play a game and just stop hitting turbo, and just see what happens. Sometimes you're going to give up like certain routes. But overall, what I have found is I get much better change of direction when I don't do turbo. Turbo kind of throws me off, but when I just run down just with that left joystick, it's able to help me kind of in a very significant way in my opinion. So try that out, that's one tip for you. The second thing that I want to tell you about user control is left, the left stick is, or the left, um, uh, left trigger on defense is still really, really important. It's still really, really important. On offense, it's not so much um, in terms of like running the ball. Like last year, if you were to use left trigger when you were running the ball, what you would find is you would have a significant amount of more, um, you would just have significant more success, in my opinion, um, if you were to hold that left trigger. You'd want to hold the left trigger as soon as the ball was snapped. Well, this year, they've taken that button away. The precision modifier is no longer in Madden, and so now we've got to adjust um, again. So what I recommend you do um, 
is again just simple depressing that left stick and then when you really want to explode through a hole and there's no one around you that's when you hit that right trigger but you don't have to hold the right trigger the entire time it's a very uh, interesting beast this year but literally once you get to that hole you get out there and then you can actually let go of right trigger gather yourself make a cut and then go again right so it's not just one you know you don't just have to do it one way there's there's several different ways to do this um, again user control in general uh, this year I think right trigger as a general rule if you want to if you want to improve your user control don't use right trigger so much use it situationally not uh, universally okay that's one thing Second thing is understanding that the uh, the left trigger does still apply to receivers and cornerback animations. You saw when I got the interception on the last play, um, I did a very specific left trigger strafe. So when I want to change directions, one of the things that I like to do is I like to just hold. Um, I like to hold left trigger. I, I just do. Um, maybe it's a maybe it's just a habit. But for me, it works just fine. So um, I like to hold left trigger when I want to change directions. If I'm using on a linebacker or whatever, and I'm going to the right, and I want to jump back on a route to the left, I'll I'll you I'll hold that left trigger. Now with running the ball, you can't do that because if you do that, you're literally going to fumble every single time because of the fact that they've instituted this new um, this new this new way of of user control and offense. So you know what I do is I just depress that left stick very very subtly. I'm not holding turbo. I'm not really, you know, I'm not, it's hard to explain this in a video, but I'm barely, I'm barely moving the left joystick. It's very sensitive. It's, it, what I like to think of when I'm playing is I like to think of like a Le'Veon Bell type of running back. I'm going to let my holes open up. Now they won't always open up. Like right there, I get, I get stopped in the backfield. But for the most part, if you, if you as a general rule, run the ball, in Madden, kind of like Le'Veon Bell runs the ball when he was running with the Steelers, you'll find this to work really effectively for you. So again, user control this year, and I think just going forward, it's going to be really, really important for us to understand this as a community. Uh, user control is different. Uh, it's very, very different um, than, it's, than it's ever been. When you're swerve catching, when you're swerve catching, it's the subtle moves that make the biggest difference. It's not the other way around. Subtle moves make a massive, massive difference in this year's game. It's it's not about like being, you know, it's 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 not about just jumping, um, you know, hardcore left or right, one way or the other. When you're using this year, again, think subtle, think think smooth, think um, like like just very minute movements make a big, big difference. So um, I'm gonna set up blocks left and then I'm gonna cut up right here. And you see that that left stick, just those subtle movements, um, kind of almost gliding with the ball. That is what has helped me a lot improve my run stick, improve my user catching, um, trying to understand that you don't have to do so much as it is as you have to be very, very accurate when you do make that cut. So what I like to do is more of a, I'm gonna glide, and you'll see here, like with the zone league, I'm gonna set my blocks up here. But see, I'm not holding turbo. I I, had, I held turbo at the very end of that play, but like literally, and I wouldn't say that was great stick, but I'm not holding turbo. And you're seeing I'm still able to move pretty quickly through the hole, but what it does is it prevents the defense from block shedding. Um, it, it, it opens up a lot of options, okay? And so to me, if you wanna take your user control to the next level, just lay off turbo a little bit. You'll see here, like if I run, I'll show you right here. So if I run like an out route to the right side, um, I'm gonna click on, and looks like he's gonna run some kind of fun, funky defense on me, so we'll just throw this away. Get back into the five wide. But what you'll see here, uh, actually I know I can show you this from pistol ace, so skinny posts. So what you'll see is when I click on, I'm literally just gonna swerve him inside and outside inside and outside and you'll see right here as he's able to get a great block shed on me but you'll see let's see if i can't get it here on this play we'll go to uh we'll go to my favorite plan madden 21 spread y flat or spread y slot curl wheel and what you'll see is this 
very subtle movement does make your user co control much better. Um, it's it's not, you know, it's it's. I think for what what I'm seeing is this year you see that that little slight movement that was I barely moved the joystick at all and it gave me an insane animation. That's what I'm talking about when I talk about being very subtle with your user control, being understanding about how very subtle movements on the joysticks moving in and out, in and out with the joystick does so much for your user control. You'll see here on defense right now, watch what happens. So I'm gonna su very, very subtly move and what you'll find is I'll bait. Um, what I mean by bait is I will, um, oftentimes offenses are gonna watch your user player. I mean, the good, good, um, Good players are going to watch where your lurk's at, and they're going to think about what you're doing. Now, I know my job here. My job is the deep middle of the field. I know that I've got to make a decision here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically act like I'm going to the underneath and then jump up over top. Now, he's going to get me over the top, which is fine, and we're going to reset and do it again. But it's the subtlety, the little subtle jab and then go back up. That I find that to be more effective for user defense this year. Uh, I find it to be much, much more effective. In fact, um, to the point that I, you know, and I will literally just, and then we're going to come back down. So just the subtleties uh, of user control and understanding your job, right? And, and one of the things that I think is so hard for people now to understand is, you know, and I don't have the best lurk in the world by any means, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better especially like when you get an interception. If you get an interception, do not, do not hold turbo until you get to where you are in the open field. To me, that's huge. As you saw there, I was able to get an extra, probably f f several yards just by holding that, or uh, by not holding turbo. So, you know, to me, um, letting letting the computer do some you don't want the computer to do everything but let them do some and that's going to help you so again those are some ideas those are just some concepts some ways that you can improve your user control on offense and defense the biggest thing that i would say is subtle movements and don't hold turbo so much don't hold turbo so much um, that's going to help you big time in Madden 21. And then one other thing is if you can find somebody that has over 90 change of direction, that will also help you uh, a ton with user control. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. There's going to be some other videos that are going to come up on your screen here, screen here in just a second. We're also going to be live streaming tonight, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can know when we go live on our YouTube channel. Again, we live stream every single night right here on our YouTube channel, so you don't want to miss that. We will see you guys tonight.